Hi, welcome to Pam's Garden. This is one of my little wooden uh, birdhouses that I have around my yard that um, I put out here because it's more natural looking in my garden. I have more of a natural garden. And uh, every spring they're being used by the little local birds. Look at the little hole. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Big smile. You know that uh, about five years ago in my garden, I was out watering my pots in my patio and I noticed these little birds popping in and out of my pots and I thought, oh my goodness, I wonder what they're doing in my plants. And I peeked down inside the flowers and I noticed that they were little, tiny little nests that were carved into the soil and it was then little bits of grass and actually um, parts of my cat's fur down at the bottom make them really soft. And a couple days later, I looked and there was little tiny eggs. And these were the Janko birds that come. They're little tiny birds, about maybe four inches long. And they um, are, they make their, their nest down in the ground. So I have little wrens that come into my yard. They go in and out of my birdhouses. I have alongside my little secret garden that I have on the side of my house. And they use those birdhouses. Species of the birds that I see in my yard are um, the finches. There, there's the purple finch, there's the golden finch, there's their little red finch, and they, they like the Niger um, seed, which is a little black seed that comes sometimes in the, what this is called a stocking or sock, but I would like to put it in a bird feeder. It stays fresher for them. And I change this about once a week. I also have a big um, dead tree that's behind my property. And there's the Cooper Hawk, which uh, visited me about probably four years ago now. I found him in my bird bath and taking a bath and just loving it. Almost every day he'd come to visit. Now he has his own family up in the old uh, dead tree and I hear him every once in a while calling for his mate and his little baby, you know, babies that he has. There's generations, there's juniors, and then there's the new babies every year. I put water into my watering cans, as you can see down here. I have many different ones in my yard. I use them to uh, water my seedlings and my potted plants, but I also have decided that I like to leave uh, water into the watering cans because the birds rely on them to take their baths and to drink. And I didn't realize that until one day I saw them sitting on the edge of my watering cans getting a drink. 